and welcome everybody here on twitch chat and everybody on youtube for our first meme tier monday deck it's going to be dreadway combo we're going to be trying out this fun combo that's really hard to pull off but if we if we do get to pull it off hopefully we get to one time because it's pretty sweet so what it is is a nine mana unit the dreadway you need this in play so that you don't always have a nine mana unit in play to begin with right so that's the first part of the combo and it doubles all damage dealt by your skills, spells, and allies. And then once you have that in play, you have to play another 9 mana unit, Commander Ledros. So you have the Dreadway in play. Play a Ledros, because then the Ledros has that play trigger. Deal damage to the enemy nexus equal to half its health. So if you deal damage equal to half and round it up, and then you double it, because Dreadway doubles it, well, that's just going to kill him, right? Like if they're at 10... This Ledros would do 5 to them, but then Dreadway doubles it, so it's 10, so they just die. And so it's just a one-shot kill with having these two together. And so that's what our deck is. We're going to be trying this Dreadway combo. Um, and to help enable it with our meme tier Monday, we're going to be playing some Smooth Soloist. So we get some Smooth Soloist in play. That plunder reduced the cost of allies in your hand and deck by 2. So play one Smooth Soloist, and now suddenly these are both 7 mana. A little easier to play it you still can't do both of them in the same turn if they're seven mana um, but if you play a second smooth soloist now both of these will be five mana and so if we can get two you know we get to play two smooth soloist these will both be five mana and then in one turn we can just drop the dreadway then drop ledros and they're dead that'd be awesome that's going to be kind of the plan of the deck so we're a slower bilge water um and shadow isles deck mostly all bilgewater because we're going to be going yorl grifter because we need uh, more warning shots you know we want as many ways to be able to trigger plunder as possible because the smooth soloist is a plunder trigger so that's going to be an important one to turn on and we're also just going to kind of go with our uh, the nab package to get some card advantage with the yorl grifter with the black market merchant with two pilfered goods also that'll give us some card advantage so those those will get us card advantage from the opponent's deck of course jaw hunters will create random sea monsters more card advantage but as you've seen like if you play these kind of plunder decks before that can result in you having a lot of expensive stuff in hand right because you don't know what your opponent's playing you can grab expensive cards from them jaw hunters creating sea monsters those can be expensive so if we have a bunch of expensive stuff in hand do you know what helps with that boom smooth soloist you know we can steal a bunch of stuff then reduce the cost of the allies in hand by two so maybe that that could also help out the nab cards so that's what we're going to be trying out we're gonna be going with one glimpse beyond over the third pilfer goods to be able to give a little bit of card advantage in our own deck and we'll try that card out um two gangplanks mostly because the dreadway draws us a gangplank that's mostly why we're playing gangplank um, we'll see if we get to do too much with the powder kegs um but i i like thresh in this kind of deck as a way to slow the game down and then also twisted fate kind of a way to slow the game down um you know do a whole lot with either uh blue red or gold cards so we're just gonna go two of each champion all right so let's give this deck a try it's meme tier monday we're gonna go play over in normal today we'll have some fun over there we got some we got some crazy decks <laughs> we don't want to really face aggro right because like aggro decks will probably just run us over before we can get nine mana units in play <laughs> so we want to play against some slower decks well deep's a slow deck so let's see if we can pull off our combo we're going to want those smooth soloists Ledros is a, co a combo piece, but I think we mulligan it from our opener. And I don't really want to immediately just keep two four mana cards. Nothing but the stink of blood and sweat. Bum, 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 bum. Let's get to it. Okay, we'll have one Jagged Butcher enable our other Jagged Butcher. Oh. Want to draw a three drop? We got two good three drops. Okay, well, we'll just take a smooth soloist. We got two good three drops with the... Um, Danger uh, 
Petty Officer and Jaw Hunters. And speaking of Jaw Hunters, there is one right there. Well, there used to be one. Let's go to attacks first. A nice last turn, Petty Officer, but we'll probably be playing the Yordle Grifter now. The Blessed Isles live through me. A pool shark. That's not a card you see in deep too often. Pool shark. See, I want to. So basically, I want to steal the, the sea monsters, right? Like, I want the expensive sea monsters. Keep them from getting the sea monsters. Plus, we can plunder and reduce their cost. That's what we want to be stealing. Pool Shark. Not what I want to be stealing. Everglade Collector. That's kind of crazy, too. Sea Monster? Ooh, no, we got a... Got a Shadow Isles card on top. What are my Shadow Isles cards? Thrash, Ledros, and then one Vengeance, one Grasp. One glimpse beyond. I don't need another Ledros. Um, I think I think we can I think we can go ahead and safely play this. I think basically no matter what you know, like if it's if it's Ledros, I can just let it go away, no big deal. If it's Thresh, um, I'll be quick. Wait a minute. If it's Thresh, we can just cast Thresh. If it's Vengeance, we can cast Vengeance on the Malachi. So Grass the Undying, we can just play that too. Okay, so Glimpse. Uh, not the best one to just immediately play. Just attack and not let them get the two one to block. Hard to get rich. Yeah, this this does look like more of a Maokai deck than a deep deck so far, but yeah, it's it's kinda weird. Be a good card to have. Give me the stuff. Stuff make happy. <laughs> so I'm just not playing this glimpse beyond. Well, we got a lot of warning shots. <laughs> I guess you could start firing those off. Our Gangplanks is 4 out of 5 for leveling up anyway. It's so like our Gangplanks about to be leveled up. Yeah, Terra of the Tides, Rasa. We kind of have a lot of... kind of got a little bit of everything. You accepted what became of us. What was I supposed to do? Maybe I should have tried to Jaw Hunters challenge the Maokai last turn. Instead of go straight to attacks and you know, let them get a 2 1 blocker. Okay. Just 
stunning the 3-4 elusive for blocking purposes. A little weird. So they'll gain three. Yeah, I, I don't think that's this deck. Uh, try to level up Maokai and then uh, mill with Pilfer Goods and stuff. Yeah, we, we've tried that kind of stuff before. That, that doesn't seem like what my opponent's doing. Um... That's so small, but she ain't lacking courage. Wonder if it's better to steal the Nevergate Neverglade Collector over stealing the Maokai. Uh, it's steal. No, I don't want to. I'm not going to challenge the elusive. No. Yeah, we get to hit for three, but that's that only goes into eight. And then let's see. Then I Ledros to put him down to four. Okay. Then they have that thing anyway. I guess I should probably challenge the Maokai. That thing's about to level up. Or I just obliterate Maokai with this, challenge the Neverglade Collector. That's probably the route. We'll see who thinks tonight. The thing is, is challenging with the Neverglade Collector is do I actually attack with the other four things? Like, is it is it a good attack against the 6-6 six, six and the 2-1? Like, I'm definitely pulling that to the front, yes. But is this even a good attack? Um... Like, the 6-6 six, six can eat my 3-4. Or if I just attack with these, the 2-1 two, well, two, one eats one of my 3-2s. And then the 6-6 six, six eats the 4-4. Four, four. Maybe it's okay to attack with these. Because I basically have the 4-4 four, four and the 3-4 combined together to kill the Abyssal Lion. leave the elusive back. So any damage that we can do does help out, you know, like again we can go we can go powder keg with a petty officer to turn one of these into two damage. They know about two warning shots that I have in hand right now because they're two Yordle Grifter warning shots. They don't know about the other one. Hold it, sweetheart. All right, so we got a Vengeance and a Scrap Shot. Do I want Powder Keg? The one drop. Probably just the one drop. I need more runs. So I got 12 mana. Which is pretty unfortunate because my cards cost 7, 7, and 6. I don't get to... I can't double spell. Right, I can only play one. 
Um, obviously, I need to kill this Maokai right now, otherwise it levels up, and then that, that's going to make my life a lot more difficult. So, do I want to kill it with Vengeance or Scrap Shot? I think we're going to go with Scrap Shot, because Vengeance can kill, Maokai, can kill Nautilus. No, a Dreadway and a Smooth Soloist. Ugh. So there's only one Dreadway left in the deck somewhere. Oh, come on, really? I'll be quick. If I block either of those, then Maokai levels up, so I just can't block either one. I have nine direct damage in hand. But I have to play the Ledros first. Maybe, let's see. If I go straight to attacks, they take two. They go to eight. Right? Like, let's say they, they block these three and they take two and go to eight. Then this can do four, put them to four, and then I have four. So... If they have no spells, I can win by going straight to attacks. So let's do that. Gather on, gather on. The problem with Ledros, I don't know. Ledros first does give them another blocker. And so it doesn't, Easy, tiger. like they play one unit and they get two blockers. So playing Ledros first just gives them, two, like it gives me one threat and them two blockers. And that's, you know, bad for me. So I think we can kill them right here. As long as they don't have any life gain. You know, that's that's the thing with, with their deck, you never know. As far as life gain goes. I, I don't think my opponent's playing Pilfer Grid. I mean, sure, if they're playing Pilfer Grid, it doesn't matter. We're not going to be drawing another card anyway. It doesn't, it doesn't matter if they do have Pilfer Grid. Unless they steal, like, my one Withering Whale or one Grass of the Undying. That's where it would matter. And now... Now they can't. And definitely a good thing I didn't just play Ledros pre-combat, because they would have had the 13-13, plus they would have had the 2-1 to block the 3-1. And there we go, GG's. It shouldn't really be a warning shot if it kills you, right? But that's not much of a warning. Hey, congratulations! You completed all the Spirit Blossom event quests. Yay. What we get? An epic wild card. Pretty epic. Awesome. Uh, we're almost to the Bloom Tooth. Get it instead of gloom tooth. Well, we still killed them whenever we played Ledros, so that's kind of like what our deck's supposed to do, right? It's kind of like, kind of like what our deck's supposed to do. We played Ledros and they died. Okay, we're playing against Burn. Real bad matchup because they're super fast. We're definitely gonna have to mulligan the seven and nine drop. We're not sure if it's worth having a warning shot to make Jagged Butcher a three-three. Maybe it is. 
It'll make it'll make it a lot better against the other one mana cards, like the one mana two ones. Being able to play a one mana three three. Explosive prod. We started without me. See? Good. Everything's in place. Who's that you got there? That's a great card to draw. This fills in the curve. It gives me one of their burn spells. No, that's not a burn spell. Good blocker, though. And I guess we played Jaw Hunters. Where we'd probably want to have used Cask Salesman as more of a blocker like you know like against multiple things i don't think we just play the salesman out we'll just play the jaw hunters i'll try anyone once. <laughs> yeah you don't want to cross me. yeah get a burn spell War Mason, reporting for duty. Rude. For the glory of Noxus. Fell into him! Routes closed. Good, no transfusion. Little surprise the 2 1 up block. The 2 3 blocked my 3 3. Just a little bit surprised there. Coming in hot! Won't find better this side of the sun. This side of the sun. Yeah, we never know what hit him. We go twist a fake gold card to kill one of these. Ooh, Yoro Grifter's not bad either, though. Yoro Grifter can get us another burn spell. Hmm, maybe a Yoro Grifter. No, we'll just get a gold card. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Or played one. Hold it, partner. My plan, of course, was to kill that 3-2 Legion Grenadier, which is why it didn't block the like other things. The opportunity. This is probably a bad attack with the Twisted Ends Fate, here. but thankfully they don't know how to block. <laughs> the 2-3 should be blocking the Twisted Fate. You know, they, just, they take one additional point of damage, but they'd have their... <clears throat> unit left. I can do this. Close your eyes and drift away. All right, Smooth Solus, make these cost a little less for me. Thank you, thank you. Sit back down. So down to six. <sighs> yeah, this is hard. Play Dreadway or Ledros. Dreadway means everything does double, so this it's still it's eight. Dreadway's eight attack by itself. The Smooth Solus attacks for six. Choice of Fate attacks for four. Um, and then you know I have the Mega Rain to do two, or Ledros just does five to them and puts them down to four. Uh. I'm gonna play Dreadway. I don't I play I've played Ledros a lot more times than I've played Dreadway in my life. So I'm gonna go Dreadway. Reporting 
Yeah, like they're they're gonna die either way. We're gonna be killing them. It was in the that was a good, impressive game. Beat the burn. That was a good, impressive game. I know, we were so close to the combo, I know, I, I... But... We're still 2-0. Oh. Hey, Cabo, good morning. Yes, Doth, to check your expedition tokens. I'm sorry your comment was from a little while ago. Um, but hopefully you're still here and, and can hear it. But to check your expedition tokens, you go to your... Go to your... Um, go to the store. I think if you go to the store, right... Or no, or you just you just start you just like start an expedition and click to join and it tells you. I think I think I think that's all you have to do to check your expedition tokens. Oh, glimpse beyond. Yeah, I think I think if you just try to join an expedition, it'll like you know for your for like the cost to join it'll be like you can pay 2000 shards and this is how many shards you'll have afterwards or you can pay you know how you, know, you, can, you can pay an expedition token and this is how many expedition tokens you'll have afterwards so it'll tell you like your amount you'll have after you uh, pay for one yeah i think that's right um, there's another question that I missed up here from Chris. How do you think Runeterra needs more cards without keywords or abilities like one of mana? So, yeah. Not necessarily. Um, yeah, there's not much exciting about cards with no keywords or abilities. It's pretty bland and boring, and, and uh, you know, it's good to have the game be exciting and not bland and boring. So, you do need those. Like, they're not, they are a necessity, but I don't, I wouldn't necessarily say that they need more of those, if that makes sense. Blood and guts, golden glory. Night falls. We keep getting the Terror of the Tides. This is the worst sea monster to get. Fell into him. Let's get to it. It's too late for you. Is a leap's only purpose to fall. Um, correct. You don't get the champion capsule for seven wins anymore. They reduce the entry fee and payout. Sure, what I'm doing with that. Feel me in. Hey, Srammy. Eyes open. Uh, no, Cabo. I've never seen that deck. I don't know anything about it. Life and death on the blade's edge. Also, it's going to be difficult to beat. Certainly, a card that we wanted to see the least, of course. Hardened scales. Definitely want a spell. We, you know, like we were hoping for any kind of spell. 
especially like a Will of Ionia or just or something, you know, like I, I don't care for a stupid Beyblade twirler. That was not good. First unit dead for Thrash. The dead don't need riches. None can compare. It's hard to get rich. So we're at four out of eight for Twisted Fate. We're still a little ways away. Yasuo Steel Tempest. So we sacrifice, we get to draw two, and also one Yasuo is eliminated from their deck. It's obliterated. Alright, well, that's the bad news. But, you know, I don't get to draw two now. But good news is there's still zero out of five as far as leveling up Yasuo and one and another Yasuo obliterated from the deck. Fortunately, my hand is pretty garbage now. That's a good card. One blade, one purpose. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. That's a much better sea monster than the Terror of the Tides. Rain here is opinionated. Okay, five mana removal for my 2 2, you know, basically grasp the undying. Might as well play this thing. I got nothing else to do with it. And that mana was going to be gone anyway. Going harvesting. Try to keep up. Another Yasuo Steel Tempest. Well, that levels up my Thresh. Um, the Thresh didn't just attack, though. It's not going to go put anything into play. But it will be leveled up. Um, and now we can play... We, get to, we do get to play Smooth Soloist. Plundered. Glory, courage, excuses for war. Come on a musical journey. And they're at two. That's not bad. Could maybe maybe take out Yasuo? Maybe. Does the wind flee or does it follow? Cool, so that's two Yasuo's gone and the other one got reshuffled back into the deck. We got seven mana. Which one of these do we want to play? I'll do the shipwreck order and get two. Two treasures into the deck. Awesome. D 
GG's. Yeah, Ledros would have only dealt one damage. So I guess we're just gonna get this screen every every win now for the next month. We're gonna get this screen. That's not bad. That's a cool screen. It's a cool looking screen. We got our our ships behind us. Yeah, we got that one. Ooh, level up champions. One out of two. Yeah, our deck's looking pretty sweet so far. We are, um... Uh, um hmm, Yasuo Ezreal, that's interesting. We are playing in normal, but still, our deck's doing real good. I'm gonna mulligan... Like, Jaw Hunters is good against Yasuo, but I feel like that's kind of a bad card to have against an Ezreal deck. I need to do some mulliganing. I can't just keep this. So I, I guess we have to. We have to just. We have to see if we find stuff to turn on, like black market merchants. Yep. That would be jagged butcher or warning shot. Not quite. No, Kaba, no. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Um, there are there's no in client tournaments right now. There are all the tournaments are kinda are like set up through discords and stuff like that. Just passed. Blood and guts. Um, that's something that'll be added on a later on in the year as far as re ladder rewards you get icons you know you get uh, special icons right now at the end of the season depending on how far that you made it Here's our chance. Yeah. So they pass their their place probably play Yasuo. Can't really stop them from playing Yasuo. Yeah, we what the three games in a row we get Terror of the Tides. Yeah, that card really wants to be played, doesn't it? We haven't played it yet, but it sure wants to be played. Fish out of water. Certainly assume they're going to be stunning the Jaw Hunters. You know, like that they have a plan. They're not going to just let me challenge, right? Like they they got to have a plan. Um. Hmm. 
I guess I try Thresh. I was kind of planning on going Black Market Merchant plus Yordle Grifter this turn. Alright, I'll pass and have them waste six mana. They'd obviously have... You know, stuff to protect Yasuo. Let's just go to the next turn. <laughs> hey, Yud. Good morning. Taking four. Maybe. That's a useful card. It's gonna be three, six, nine. That'd be eleven cards if I play that. I don't have room for eleven cards. So. I'll just So I guess I just let this happen then. So I don't have room for eleven cards. The other option would be to just cast the warning shot so then I'd only have ten and then I'd be playing black market merchant. But then I'd still have ten, so then I'd have to just like throw away like a make it rain or something. Yeah, maybe better to, to glimpse a stun or recall from that. All right, we could just glimpse now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, that'll give me so that'll give me ten. So then I'll have to just waste warning shot if I glimpse now. Um. So maybe I don't glimpse now. And the, the problem is, is cards in hand, as far as a Glimpse Beyond is concerned. That's the problem there, cards in hand. Can only stun an enemy. I can't stun my own thing. All right, so we'll keep them from getting the three two. Should be able to kill Yasuo, I think. You'll fight or you'll swim. Get a powder keg, gold card, and then make it rain. And then even if they if they kill the powder keg in response, we'd have. We'd make it rain then in response to that. 
So I'm sorry, sorry, Jagged Butcher and Black Market Merchant that had the plunder turned on. I'm sorry. We gotta get Yasuo out of here. And you call me a shark? Don't blink, or you miss me. Hmm. Well, my plan was to play Commander Ledros, but now I kind of want a Concussive Palm and to stun that thing. So I could go Stun plus Thrash or Ledros. Oh, yeah, I guess I could just play Abyssal Eye instead of Thrash. That Abyssal Eye just blocks this thing. I don't know why I didn't even think of Abyssal Eye until kind of like whenever I was playing that. Like, my Abyssal Eye, I guess, was hidden kind of thing from me. And then, yeah, I played that, and I kind of saw that too. And then uh, somebody said that in chat. Liz, yeah, Liz, you're, yeah, you said Abyssal Eye. Yeah, that's, that's probably the best play. Just play that thing. But now it's a little too late. Now we're going Thrash Route. Well, we haven't gotten the combo yet. It's so hard to get this combo to work. Opponents keep conceding. Oh, y'all say go, go ranked. All right, whenever we're 4-0 in, in normal with the meme tier deck, we go ranked. Oh, I didn't I didn't fix the camera today, so it's delayed. Thanks. Thanks for letting me know. I forgot to do that. All right, give me a second. I hate every single day. I gotta go in and change all these settings. Okay, that should be better. Should be good with the camera now. No, oh, we gotta play Ash Sejuani. Pilfer Goods is good against Ash Sejuani. Um, I don't know if it's, like, good enough to just not do anything forever and just play, like, a bunch of for Goods. Like, it's probably not that good. Um, but it is a good card against them. But, obviously, we have to have other things in play and stuff like that first. Kind of want to keep one of them. I'll keep one. Yuck. Shouldn't have kept one. Oh, <laughs> uh, well... We're facing the best deck that we have, and we've got the worst hand that we've had out of all of these. Okay, well, their hand isn't too busted. Man, ah, oh, this is this is why we need two mana pilfer goods to go with Mega Rain and Black Market Merchant. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. So we'll have to do that next turn. So we'll just play the Jaw Hunters this turn. Pass the turn. And now next turn. Now this turn we can go Mega Rain, Black Market Merchant, Pilfer Goods. Faster than my arrow? Dang, a 6-4. I'm at 13. Show me a target. Don't ask where it's from. Ask how much. Not bad. You brought something. Ooh, I like zero mana elixir of iron. And two mana Averosen Trapper. All right, so they're definitely gonna just like brittle steal my four one, right? Like I I attack in, they just brittle steal the four one. Like that's happening, right? Basically, the question is, do I want to go Sentry plus Trapper and maybe have Make It Rain, or do I want to Thresh? Um. I 
think we're gonna just play play these cheap things to let us kind of get ahead. Patient things trapped in the ice. Oh, they're out there. I'll spot them. Fell into them. Hot on the trail. Get on the claw. I just click it. Accept. First. So I don't have to make it rain right now. We can wait for them. They play their next unit, then I make it rain. Bow to no one. Papa Tim on that one month streak. Thank you, Papa Tim. I mean, five awesome months now. You are amazing. Let's get some hype votes in here. There we go. Kordak Tizzle bringing in the hype. Thanks, Papa Tim. All right, let's go with... The Thresh. Alright, so that's two things dying for Thrash. Hmm. It's probably better to play Shipwreck Order. Ooh, never mind. Now we get a, a one mana 5-5. Five five. I guess it's better to go Gangplank and Enraged Yeti over Shipwreck Order. I was going to play Shipwreck Order, of course. I'll make corpses of Powder Keg's really easy to die. I guess the thing I got to be worried about with the Powder Keg is they get to just challenge the Powder Keg with the Sejuani. Actually, that's kind of a problem, isn't it? How do I have the Powder Keg die first? What if it's better to pull no Omen Hawk? Maybe it was better to pull Omen Hawk. So I need to make this attack so I can kill Sejuani with the Grass of the Undying. Why would the 3-3 three, three attack also? When I mean, obviously I block it with the 5-4. Like, why do they want to be having their 3-3 three, three attack into my 5-4? Oh, well, that's just kind of busted. You don't see many Fury of the North in their deck, but they're at least one of those Sejuani. Those might have both been just Sejuani Fury of the North. Why no elixir where? To save oh to save my gangplank? I don't know, I just have one health at that point. Yeah, I think they were both Sejuani Fury of the Norths. Well, Sejuani's the best card in Runeterra for a reason. So there we go, 4-1. Whoops. Um, didn't quite have enough time to, you know, Sejuani with the Overwhelm just, just killed us a little too fast. Didn't quite have the time. We did have the, that combo in hand. Uh, we just needed to buy a little more time, which honestly I was feeling pretty good until those Fury of the Norse. Like I thought, I thought you know, like we'd have Grass the Undying be able to kill Sejuani and it would be fine, but that wasn't the case. <laughs> so yeah, three Sejuani. <laughs> um, yeah, that's true. So that's so that's why they attacked with the three three. Because then it then it forced me to block, and then since I blocked, then they got to cast the Fury of the Norse. Like if I don't, if they don't attack with the three three, 
then I could just not play anything, and then, you know, like, there's no blocks, and then, uh, like, damage just happens. They don't actually have time to cast the Fury of the Norths. So that, that's why attacking with the 3-3 was pretty good. Um, but yeah, this was pretty fun to play. You know, it's this is a meme tier deck. I wouldn't say this is necessarily like a an absolute great rank up deck, but you do have a powerful late game, which that's always good to have. And um, we even saw we got to beat a burn deck. So that, that was a good showing how we got to beat the burn deck. Um, and yeah, honestly, that last game, like if, you know, if they don't have triples, triple Sejuani, like I, I was, I was feeling pretty good about that last game, like where things were going, but triple Sejuani just kind of got it done. Um, yeah, the, the smooth solos were pretty good for us of, of reducing the cost by two and just being a three, four elusive, like a three, four elusive is a pretty big body. So that was pretty nice. Um, and yeah, and we were doing a good job of grinding down opponents and everything, you know, like our Yordle Grifters and uh, Yordle Grifters were good. Jaw Hunters were very good with creating like the extra sea monsters for us. Petty Officer, pretty good too. Yeah, this worked. I liked the the one Glimpse Beyond was was good. I think that was, it was better than the third Pilfer Goods. The Glimpse Beyond was nice. I think the deck worked pretty well. All right, those, there you go. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments also. Uh, but hopefully you had fun with our first meme tier deck here, Dreadway Combo. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.